<laughs> FOMO is the, you should know this. No, I the don't, fear I don't of missing out on social media. Oh, why would we know that? 90% uh. of young adults have a presence on social media, Facebook and stuff. It can also lead to a, to a uh, risk of long-term illness. What? Long-term what illness. Psycho. Dan, how much are you on Facebook every day? Never. Okay, there you go. Better get off Facebook. <laughs> Arizona students, y'all may have seen this on news this weekend, put a GoPro on a balloon two years ago. Mm -hmm. Lost it. It went so high they couldn't find it. It was found just recently, two years later. It went almost, it went 98,644 feet before it fell back to earth. Took some amazing photographs of the Grand Canyon. 98,644 feet high. How many miles is that? A bunch. Yeah. That's right, but wrong. 919. I gotta go with one. He is on it. 18. Seven miles. Good job. Man. He just calculated it. You are sharper than you look. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> what was the score of the Pennsylvania high school football game this Friday night that set records? 108 to 96. 107 to 90. 107 to 90 is correct answer, but that's not the real question. They had one back. <laughs> Running back named Journey Brown. What did he, how many yards did he gain? 750. Wrong. 722 yards and 10 touchdowns. Well, he was only, close. I'd give that to him. And only 30 carries. But we'll go with you six. I'll give you one. But there's a real question. What is the record set in 1950 for most yards? Ah, that's not the record. 820. 754 yards. Hmm. They wow. 800, 1,827 total yards. That was Here's a basketball school. All right, move on to another question. What is sex extortion? I don't know, but I can sit up here and be a victim of it if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give it to you. That's the right answer. Ashley Sex, John Daly's ex wife posted pictures of a love rival, and she's been arrested for sex extortion. <clears throat> But here's the other question. Why is she suing John Daly's current fiance? That's her right there. She's crazy. For breaking up the marriage? Yes, but why? They have a term for that that only a lawyer you think. Alienation of affection. That is the correct answer. Alienation of affection. Can you actually do that? Alienation of affection. Oh, that sounds good, doesn't it? That is the correct answer. Alienation of affection. Alienation of affection. You are smart. Goodness. iPhones go on sale on September 25th. <laughs> iPhone 6. How many are they expected to sell that weekend? Five, 10 million. 10 million is the correct answer. How many pixels is the new camera on the iPhone? 18. 12. 12. All right. Move on to some easier questions now. Good. We're ready. Who has Hillary Clinton said would be her first pick and be a great vice president? You got my phone? <laughs> That's double wrong. <laughs> Bill Clinton, her husband, but why can't he be vice president? Because it's in the law. Because he didn't inhale. <laughs> I won't give you to that because that is a different answer I didn't expect. Because he was already been president once. All right. I didn't know. Shaq O'Neal, y'all know who he is, right? Yeah. He's about Zach's size. <laughs> Shaq O'Neal turned down the Starbucks spokesman job that went to Magic Johnson who received 27 million for it. Why? Back a couple of, Jimmy, you might know this. Get a shot of Jimmy. Abby, turn the camera around and get a shot. Or, Looking how cute. I'll show him over there. <laughs> right there. Show it. Get, just take a tight shot right there. I mean, turn around right there on that camera. Don't matter. Get a shot of Jimmy Gill, five, uh, city council president being there. drinking coffee, right? Looking all cool. You like Jimmy. that coffee, Jimmy? Show a shot up. There you go. Right there. Hold that coffee cup up. Why did Shaq O'Neal turn down the Starbucks job? He don't. He doesn't, he doesn't drink, drink coffee. coffee. No, he says black people don't drink coffee. Well, not. That's what he said. <laughs> he said Shaq's wrong. He said, he said, man, I was an idiot. He said, that's what I told my agent. I said, man, grew up my family. We never drank coffee. The black people ain't gonna drink Starbucks coffee. Everybody likes coffee. Everybody likes coffee. Yeah. yeah. I used to drink coffee a couple years ago. All right, two more simple <laughs> easy questions. Guantanamo Bay prisoner, you already know that, sir. 
that was accused of being Osama bin Laden, one of his right hand associates, is on a dating profile. He is. He's on a dating profile. His name is Mohammed Rahim Al Habul. <laughs> Say it again. What is his slogan at the end of his? Profile, and he even wrote that Ashley Madison was bad. He's on uh, Match.com. Mm. Okay, what would he have said? Then I got one last question. Don't give up. What was his little slogan? Yeah. I'm a bad boy. Close <laughs> but wrong. His slogan was, as soon as I can find it, detained but ready to mingle. <laughs> oh, that's a good well, one. that words of wisdom. I mean, right there. I'm in competition with no one. I have no desire to play the game of being better than anyone. I'm simply trying to be better than the person I was yesterday. Very good, Zach. I don't know what that means. I mean, it's trying to be better than you were yesterday, James. All right. Since nobody really took the lead today, we're going to go with. Ugh. Oh, God. Damn, we got it's these ready to go. You started but, this. Dan Todd, thank you for these from a beer joint up north. <laughs> Vienna sauce is just what the grand prize. These are good for two more years. So on your way back to Gadsden Day, you can pop open one of these and eat them or save them for a couple years later. Here is the double bonus question that looking around this room, you guys might need. 